Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply a priori algorithm to find the strong association rules for the given data set. This is the data set given to us. In this case, we have been given uh, six transactions and in each transactions, different items were purchased. Given this particular data set, we need to apply the priori algorithm to find the frequent item sets as well as the strong association rules by considering the minimum support as 33.34% and confidence as 60% in this case. So to find out the frequent item sets, uh, we need to find out all those particular uh, possibilities where the minimum support is uh, satisfied. Once we find out the uh, frequent item sets, we will try to find out the association rules in this case. So in this case, uh, we have been given the minimum threshold as 33.34%. So if you see this particular data set, uh, in this case, we have been given six transactions out of that. Uh, if it is purchased, uh, if a particular item is purchased two times, for example, two divided by six, which is equivalent to 33.34% in this case. So if a particular item is purchased more than or equivalent to uh, two times, the minim meaning is it has uh, satisfied this particular uh, minimum support in this case. First, uh, we will try to calculate the one frequent uh, item sets. For that one, first we need to identify the uh, one item sets first. There are five uh, unique items we are given in this case. The first one is hot dogs, buns, ketchup, coke and chips. First, then we need to count how many number of times uh, these items were purchased. If you see here, hot dogs is purchased one, two, three and then four times. That is what I have written here. Similarly, buns. Buns is uh, purchased two times, so I have written it here. Similarly, we have to count uh, the number of times each and every product was uh, purchased in this case. Now, if you see this particular support value, uh, every item will uh, satisfy the minimum support because minimum it has to be purchased two times in this case. So all of these uh, will satisfy this particular requirement. The meaning is all are, you can say that the frequent one item sets in this case. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to write uh, the uh, two item sets first that is k is equal to 2 in that case. To write that we will start with hot dogs, hot dogs, buns, ketchup uh, that's the first one. Hot dogs and ketchup is the second one. Hot dogs, coke is the third one. Hot dogs, chips is the third, fourth one. And then we will start with the buns. Buns, ketchup, buns, coke, buns, chips is the next uh, three possibilities. Ketchup, coke, ketchup, uh, chips is the another two possibilities and the last possibility is coke chips so totally we will get 10 possibilities so that is what i have listed here in this case the k is equal to 2 here now we have to find out the support value that is how many number of times this uh, hot dogs and uh, buns is purchased if you see here hot dogs and buns is purchased one time here this is the second time so it is purchased two times similarly we have to find out the uh, hot dogs and ketchup this is hot dogs and ketchup. This is the first time. Uh, we don't have any other possibilities. The meaning is it has been purchased one time. The similarly, we have to count the support value for all these particular possibilities. You can see here, uh, the first one was purchased uh, two times. Second possibility is one time and so on. We have listed all these things. Now, out of all these particular possibilities, uh, the one which will satisfy the minimum support, that is uh, two, we have to consider here. This is the first one, second one, third one, and then the fourth one here. So these are the frequent two item sets in this case. So that is what uh, we need to write. So it is two here. Now, uh, these are the frequent two item sets. Uh, in this uh, frequent two item sets, if you see here, uh, this is the first unique item, hot dogs, buns, coke, chips. These are the four possibilities. Now, by considering these four, we have to write uh, the three item sets. So these are the four possibilities first. So how to write is uh, we have to start with again hot dogs, hot dogs, buns, coke. That's the first possibility. Hot dogs, buns, chips is the second possibility. Hot dogs, coke, chips is the third possibility. Buns, coke and chips is the fourth possibility here. So these are the four possible cases. But if we consider, you should not consider all four possibilities because when K is equal to two here, the buns and coke is not a frequent to item set similarly buns and chips is not a frequent to item sets if you go back and see here uh, buns and chips we have zero and then buns and coke is equal to zero here so these two are not uh, frequent to item sets here 
so what we do here is uh, wherever these two are appearing we will remove those things so bun and coke is appearing so we should not consider this one bun and uh, chip is coming we should not consider this one and then uh, bun and coke as well as bun and chip is appearing here i should not consider this one so there is only one uh, three item set we have uh, we should not consider all three we have only one that is hot dogs coke and chips so this is the only uh, frequent three item set in this case where the support is equal to 2 because we need to count it here hot dogs uh, coke chips this is the first time hot dog coke chips this is the second time so it is appearing two times in this case so the minimum support has been satisfied here so this is the frequent three item set here once you find out this particular frequent item set uh, this is what we calculated when k is equal to 1 these are the item sets when k is equal to 2 these are the item sets when k is equal to 3 this is the item set here now what we need to do here is uh, we have to find out the association rules and then we need to find out the strong association rules based on the confidence value so i will start with this one that is the first uh, frequent to item set because i cannot write any rule with respect to one item set so i should start with the two item sets here the first one is uh, hot dogs and uh, buns here hot dogs and buns can generate the two possibilities hot dogs bun that is the first one buns and hot dogs these are the two possibilities so when you consider this one hot dogs uh, bun here first we need to calculate the support value of uh, this particular thing support is nothing but uh, how many times both are purchased divided by, by number of transactions here so if you see here hot dogs and buns is purchased two times and the total number of transactions are six so the support is equal to 0.33 in this case now coming back to the second one this is the confidence the confidence is nothing but uh, the number of times both are purchased divided by the number of times hot dogs is purchased here so the number of time both are purchased is 2 divided by the number of times hot dogs is purchased is 4 here so 2 by 4 which is equal to 0.5 which is less than the confidence that is confidence is equal to the 60 percent in this case so it is less than the confidence so we uh, will not consider this as a strong association rule here when you consider the other possibility that is buns and hot dogs uh, again the support remains same because the number of times both were purchased is 2 out of 6 and the number of times both were purchased is 2 divided by the number of times buns is purchased that is 2 here so 2 by 2 is equal to 1 that is 100 percent so this is a strong rule in this case this is the first strong rule consider the second uh, frequent item set that is hot dogs and coke it has uh, again two possibilities hot dogs and coke or coke and hot dogs so both are purchased two times out of six that is the minimum support here and then confidence is uh, both are purchased uh, two times and the number of times this hot dogs is purchased is four here so it will be 0.5 in this case again it is less than 60 percent so we don't consider this as a strong association rule by rule now considering the second one that is uh, coke hot dogs coke hot dogs again both are purchased two times out of six and uh, this uh, confidence that is both are purchased uh, two times the number of time coke is purchased is i think it is three times so two by three that is 66 percent so it is uh, satisfy the minimum confidence hence it is a uh, you can say that uh, strong association rule now coming back to the next one that is uh, hot dogs and chips the two possibilities are hot dogs chips chips hot dogs so both of them are purchased two times again out of six so that is a minimum support both of them are purchased two times divided by the number of times hot dogs is purchased that is four here so it is 50 percent again it is less than uh, 60 percent here coming back to the second one chips uh, hot dogs both are purchased uh, two times out of six that is a support both are purchased two times divided by the number of times uh, chips is purchased is four here two by four that is uh, 0.5 in this case again it is uh, not a strong rule in this case coming back to the last one that is uh, coke uh, chips we have two possibilities coke chips is uh, the the strong rule similarly chips coke is also a strong rule in this case so if you see here we got uh, four strong association uh, rules with respect to two frequent item sets now coming back to the next one that is uh, th there is one three frequent item set we have so we have to write all possible cases so the first possible case in this case is uh, hot dogs right side the remaining two that is coke chips so the number of times all three were purchased is uh, two divided by the number of transactions that is uh, support here 
the number of times all three were purchased is 2 divided by the number of times hot dogs is purchased that is the left hand side which is equal to 0.5 again it is less than the confidence coming back to the next one that is we will take coke this side the remaining two on the right hand side all three were purchased two times all the time divided by six is the total number of transactions the second one is uh, all purchased two times and the number of times coke is purchased is three here which is equal to 0.66 the meaning is it is the strong association rule the next one is we will take chips this side remaining all on the right hand side and then we will calculate the support and confidence so these three are over now next what we do is we will put uh, two on the left hand side one on the right hand side here so hot dogs and coke on the left side the remaining is uh, chips here so we calculate uh, the support and confidence similarly we will do it for the second possibility that is hot dogs chips right side coke the next one is coke chips and hot dogs so once we do this particular thing we will get uh, again four uh, strong rules in this case so this is the first strong rule second one third one and then fourth one finally what we do is uh, we will list out this particular strong rules based on the highest uh, confidence here so the first uh, strong rule in this case is uh, coke chips because it is 100 percent confidence we got here second one is buns hot dogs again it is 100 percent confidence hot dogs and coke chips this is the third one similarly we have listed all these particular uh, strong rules because we have already calculated them in the previous cases here so in this case uh, i have discussed how can we apply the a priori algorithm to the given data set to find out the frequent item sets as well as the strong association rules i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching